Howdy, howdy, folks, and happy Feudal Friday to you. A-Train here with another episode of Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam from RenderCube Games and Toplets Productions. Go get you some of this. It's a great value game. Runs about $35 US and is more than worth the money. Uh, we're playing on the Oxbow 2.0 version, which has a different map, has multiplayer, has uh, character creation. You play male, female. This version is only currently available on PC for Steam. Uh, Steam on PC, whatever the heck it is. Uh, other platforms will be available in the first half of this year. Uh, just check in on the RenderCube or Toplets or Medieval Dynasty uh, social media to keep track of that stuff. So, let's talk wood. I know, I could have been a little more provocative with the title of today's episode, right? Just a, just a teeny bit, a little bit. So, um, what it is, and I want to make sure I give proper credit where credit is due, because credit is due. Uh, this is uh, viewer Brighters05, and I appreciate the uh, questions and uh, comments and starting the discussion. Folks, I told you, and I've told you this multiple times, if you ask a question in the uh, comment section or whatever, uh, I may well do a video on it. I mean, I will answer your question. And in this case, it is actually warranted doing a video because I don't know the answer. And I didn't want to necessarily go goof around and, you know, figure out the answer without you guys being there to see it with me. So we're on the 2.0.1.0 uh, build. And we are going to see... To look like a proper village. Yeah, thanks. We got wood. All right. So right here, we got logs planks firewood and steak right one of each now what's the point of this whole exercise well on your management screen which is right here under management because that's what the management screen is over here on the right it says wood there's the demand and per day in parentheses so this is your total amount in storage in my case it's 7,665 and there's 280.3 is the daily demand now Here's the thing. Water is straightforward, right? Okay. You have buckets of water. They go in uh, food storage between all our people. And you can see the list of people here. they thirsty. We consume 540 units of water per day. All right. We have 6,255 in food storage. If you have buckets somewhere else, they don't count. And food storage all, does not include the kitchen. So, like over here, we show 40,355 total calories worth of food in storage. This does not include the kitchen storage. This is simply in the food storage or storage is because they're all tied together. It's one bucket. There just may be two funnels sticking into that bucket, right? Maybe three. Depends on how many you have. Meanwhile, our villager demand is 540 calories uh, per day. Now, this is not relative to calories in real life. Like, you know, 540 calories sounds like a serving of like three Oreo cookies or something like that. Or biscuits if you're, you're over in the, uh, across the pond or whatever. All right. So, not quite sure how that shakes out. But our people are consuming 540 per day. And we got 40,000 in storage. Which means we need to do some stuff with that, obviously. Or it's going to go to waste because food rots. Water does not. Buckets do. Food does not. Uh, so wood, how does wood work? Our people are demanding 280.3 units of wood, and this is ostensibly to heat their homes, right, for heating and cooking. And we'll have to keep an eye on this because it's it's autumn, so the temperature's dropped. I don't know if the, the demand is dynamic in relation to the temperature uh, uh, where you are, you know, in the uh, in the season or in the course of the year. Is it lower in summer because you're not actually heating the home? At that point, you're really just cooking. Or in winter, is it higher because you're constantly wanting to keep the home warm and then you're also cooking? I don't know. So we're going to work on just what we know. So right here, we know we have 7,665 units of wood in storage. Now, the question was, does that include just firewood or does it include all the four sources of wood? Because if you run out of firewood, your villagers will burn logs, steak, and planks. They'll burn whatever they have to burn to keep warm. 
Well, we can control that here under people's demand control and wood, wood, wood items. I said wood items. All right. So here we go. This may be answering our question for us. It says firewood is 3,360. It's priority one. All right. So I'm going to take this, that this works exactly the way the food items work as well. So firewood would get burned first. Then if you run out, steaks would be next. If you run out of steaks, they would burn logs. If you run out of logs, they're going to burn planks. And if you run out of planks, they're going to burn you. All right? <laughs> or something to that effect. All right? So let's do some quick math off the top of our head. 3,360 plus uh, 2,005. That's a pretty easy one to do. That's going to be 5,365, right? So then 6,365 if we add the 1,000 logs. And then we've got uh, 7,365 if we add the 890 steak plus 110 logs, which would give us another 1,000. So then, yeah, 7,665 sounds about right. So this is the total value of these items. Now, the value is ostensibly the amount of heat it one produces or energy one produces. And see, if you don't want your people touching this, you can turn these off. But notice the number's changing over here. All right? The demand isn't changing, but the amount available now is strictly firewood. So I'm not going to try to do the fancy math on this. We're going to take out the fancy phone. And we are going to, let's see here do this real quick oh man now i can hear myself i don't want to hear myself don't hear myself no 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 no. just share copy the link hit that close that boom boom paste this and boom cool uh fancy phone calculator so 3360 divided by 672 is five imagine that so each piece of firewood is a is worth five units of wood according to this so the people need 280 units of wood per day so in theory at minimum what would 280 yeah, let me clear that 280 divided by five is 56 so at minimum we need 56 firewood per day for the village so what does this mean, A-Train? You're, you're telling me all this stuff. What exactly does it mean? All right, first off, this is how you can control this. So early game, if you're running short on firewood, honestly, what you should be doing is just grab you some logs. You can actually make firewood in your rotary menu by hand, right? You just whip this out, handcraft, and, oh, look, there's firewood. There's firewood. You take a log, it makes you four, uh, five wood, okay? Very simple. That's the easy way. Otherwise, you go right there to the woodcutter shed, and you can make it right there. Okay? You just run over here. You run up here. Okay? Carpenter's rack. You hit E craft, and there's planks, and there's firewood. And that's four firewood. But it says plus five firewood. So does that mean... Oh! Plus... Uh, eh? Plus five wood. Okay, so each firewood equals plus five wood. So we've established that. All right, so that's what that means. All right. So this is plus five wood. So then what's a steak? Is, is every wood product worth five wood? Well, that's a good, good, it's not, that's a good question. Let's take a look. So if we go in here and we turn off, we're going to turn something on. Let's Well, sticks are worth one each. That's easy enough. Logs are worth 10. And planks are worth five. I can do that math easy enough. All right. That's one to one. That's 10 to one. And this, you know, 400 times five is 2,000. And three times five is 15. Boom, 2,015. 
1980s public school math, people. That's how you do it. Okay? So the wood here, so actually at this point, it's probably who of us to just keep this turned off because then we have an accurate count on the availability of firewood in the village. And by doing that math, right, we know we need 56 firewood per day. So that said, we can, eh, nope, we can pop over here and we can go into our extraction. And in our excavation sheds, now we can make adjustment. That's not it, not ex excavation, goofball. Woodshed, there you go. So now we can make adjustments to the production of firewood. So here, this is four, which means that's actually 20 units of firewood, of wood, right? So three times 20 is 60. So this actually should be enough firewood for us to be just ahead of consumption. And if we look over here at woodshed B, because I think I've got it cranked up much higher here. No, I don't. I don't have anybody working there right now. So that's good. All right. So actually, we should be pretty close to breaking even with our little examination and science that we've done today. Right? So you know if you're going to have four firewood, each firewood is worth five units of wood in regards to consumption. Right? So that means we got 20 units of wood times 3.6 means we're going to have, what, about 76, 75, 70, nah, it's going to be about 74. 20 times 3.6, ooh, did I got to clear that? 20 times 3.65, 73. So we're effectively making 73 units worth of wood every day with this the problem is i don't think that's what the consumption was was it was it our consumption is 280 okay so then we need to match that up so let's go here let's go here and let's reduce the number of logs we're making per day let's say let's take it down to 50 and then we'll crank the rest of that in the firewood Okay, wait, we can pat we can back up now. Hold on. Five. So what we need is this number, which is two eighty. Wait, I thought I did this. I thought I figured out we needed fifty six units per day. Oh, we may be good then. <laughs> yeah. Bill Nye the science guy? I am not. <laughs> I'm a rocket scientist, but I am not Bill Nye the science guy. I think our wood production is good then because we need to provide 280 units of wood per day, right? Okay. And we are effectively four times um, five units. This is 20 units of wood for every one we make. So 280 is going to be 5, 10, um, 14. So this total per day then may need to be 14. And we could take the planks down a little bit. Okay, there's 14 right there. We're going to go a little above that, 15.21. And we'll put these points back into planks. There we go. All right, so this should give us a daily income. All right, 15.21. Let's just math this out real quick here. Fancy phone. Fancy phone. 15.21 times 4 equals 60.84 times 5 equals 304.2. And 304.2 is greater than 280.3, which means... We're actually going to be overproducing just a little bit, and it could probably be closer. I mean, you know, you want your margins close. You don't want to wind up with freaking 7,000 firewood, all right? 
So let's just drop this number down to 14.6 and give that a whirl. So if we do 14.6 times 4 times 20. Ooh, no. Times 5. Oops. I goofed it up. Of course. 14.6 times 4. 58.4 times 5. That's 292. That's close enough. We'd rather have more than we need. <laughs> My math isn't working. <laughs> it's still okay. So Adele, it's good to see you. Uh, thanks for your comments on videos earlier and uh, welcome aboard. Appreciate you being here. Hope things are good over in the UK. Uh, so what we're figuring is in regards to wood. All right. And units of wood here. What the daily demand is, is units of wood. Whereas in food or water, these are effectively calories. And I'm holding my fingers up doing air quotes calories, right? So this is how many calories your people are going to consume per day. Like if we go over here and we open up the food. Why is my mouse just, you know, it's probably because I'm recording this. Let's go down here and look. Here's pottage. Okay. Pottage has 28 stored and has 2016 total units, which are calories. So 28. So a thing of pottage, a bowl of pottage is 72 calories. All right. So our villagers are demanding 540 calories per day. And if we divide that by 72, which Pottage is the number one available list on the, uh, on the priority list here. So the people are not going to eat roasted meat. They're not going to eat plain meat. They're not going to eat beetroot or onion or cabbage. Those are down the list. The people are going to eat whatever's at the top of the list first. Just like on the wood list, they're going to burn the firewood before the sticks, before the logs, before the planks. All right. The priority list determines what gets consumed first. So as long as you have A, more of A than you do B, until you run out of A, the people are not going to touch B. In this case, the people are not going to touch the pike. They're not going to touch the scrambled eggs with mushrooms until we run out of pottage, right? So basically, our people are consuming seven and a half pottage per day based on this demand number, and now we know pottage is 72 calories per day, or 72 calories per serving. All right, so that's how that number works. Now, and then today's discussion is, I mean, in general, they're all the same, right? It's consumption by villagers of X. So how do we figure out exactly what we, how we balance the consumption with the production. And that's what we're looking at is our people consume 280.3 units or it would be calories or whatever of wood per day. And in this case, it's firewood. I've turned this down to where this is only firewood represented, right? So we go bu, 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 click on this, click on that, I said. Thank you. And go back to wood items. If we turn these back on, boom, boom, boom. See how now it's 7,695? That's kind of a misleading number. That's the total amount of wood you've got in resource storage between all your resource storages combined because they're all inter interlinked. And that's basically all the wood available for the villagers to burn. So if you want to hammer it down, you turn those off. You just got to make sure you keep firewood in stock. But they're not going to burn sticks, logs, or planks until and unless you are out of firewood. Hello, Autumn. Welcome aboard. How are things in the upper SC? All right. So, as we, we saw, firewood is worth five units of wood. Steaks are worth one unit of wood. Logs are worth 10 units of wood, and planks are worth 5 units of wood. So all that together added up then equals your wood total, as long as it's in resource storage, 
like these pieces right here they're not in resource storage so we'd have to grab that that and that i said grab that thank you is that a log in your pocket or are you just happy to see me no it's two logs um <laughs> that's a veiled reference to um free guy is that a glock in your pocket no what it's two glocks oh <laughs> she liked that so great movie if you haven't seen it by the way so there you go so now we've added some now we're at 3345 the demand hasn't changed but the supply has changed supply and demand people economics 101 things are it's beautiful but freaking bitterly cold today in dfw and i mean the temperature is well let me check it was in the 20s earlier it had not warmed up much it's just we got a biting cold north wind and it is cold so fortunately i'm back home nice and warm uh, yep saying it's 34 feels like 24 that that wind whew, that's what's chilling all right so there you go folks that's how wood works so we rubbed that one out <laughs> anybody have any questions regarding the the science or not so sciencey aspect of wood so i guess the smart thing to do here is go into your people's demand control under the management tab okay turn off sticks logs and planks that way you have an accurate count based strictly on firewood all right you know each firewood is worth five points of wood towards this total and you know each log breaks down into four firewood so that's effectively 20 points of wood all all god here what <laughs> All right, anybody have any questions regarding wood? I'm gonna talk about wood, especially if you got a log in your pocket. How that, how, how you doing? All right, I can stop that recording. So we figured it out now, this is the way to play the game. Turn these off. Unless this situation gets desperate. If it gets desperate, you're screwed in my estimation. I mean, you should have this figured out pretty early on. Uh, as I've talked about before, I feel like you, you build, and, and I made a post to this effect on the Medieval Dynasty like official page earlier, what's your strategy? You build all of the uh, production buildings you can before you even hire anyone. Now, if you get to the point where you have the woodshed available, go ahead and throw a stone, a simple small house with stone walls and wood tile roof up and go find you an extraction specialist unless you're Sven because we know Sven can't find them. <laughs> Sven needs like an extraction metal detector or an, yeah. <laughs> he, he was having issues and I was finding all of them over here. They're on my map, not his map. But put, put them to work in the woodshed to gather uh, logs and start making planks. And then initially, when it's just you and them, I'd set them for like 5% firewood production. Because you want to get like 60% logs, do 35% planks, and then 5% firewood. Because that's going to be more than enough to cover yourself and them. And again, you're the most efficient villager you got. Bada bing, bada boom. Go grab some and make it and throw it in resource storage. Knock it out. But quick, quick, just like that. And this is where it's kind of cool, I think, to have, um, you know, more than one woodcutter shed. Of course, initially, they only you only put one person to work in one, right? And so I build a second one because then it gives me access to the workstation anytime I want without dinking around with this person doing their job. A. B. Um, at some point, you're going to need more log income. So you put the second person to work in here. And then when you upgrade to tier two, now I've got four job positions available. I've just got two people working in one. The smithy is the same way. So I got the smithy here. This is a smithy two. I got two people working in it. I will build a second smithy just for me. But I've got this lady working in this one. She's uh, backing up the other two people. The smithy two has two work. 
uh, two job positions uh, in it. So we've got four positions for smithies. Uh, now I've also built an excavation, sh an initial excavation shed. So we've got uh, four positions there. All right. So as you upgrade stuff to tier two, you add additional jobs. Jo jobs are, they took our jobs. Cool. How's everyone's Friday going? Any, uh, any fun plans this weekend or whatever? Oh, I don't know if this is the case on the valley. Maybe someone can tell me because it's been a minute. Is this barrel on there? Because you can like put buckets and water skins in this. This is storage on the well. Which kind of seems, I mean, okay, it works. If it's stupid, but it works. It's not stupid, right? But holy crap, why am I freaking skidding around? Uh, something's going goofy here. Let me look on my computer. I don't have anything open. I did a reboot earlier. We got no frame droppage going on. So, hmm. All right, anyway. Um, so we're going to have buckets. Get buckets in here, right? Because as your people empty the buckets, they go into resource storage. Oh, that's animal feed. Oh, well, pfft. hey, lazy ass, take the animal feed over. Who's the who's in charge of anim feeding the animals here? Uh, me? Yeah, that's right. So go feed the animals. Oh my God, we're skipping. Uh, let, uh, what the hell is going on here? I don't like this one bit. I do not. <sighs> Donations are welcome. <laughs> PayPal.me slash A Train Games. <laughs> Help A Train get a new computer because he needs something. The six year old machine ain't getting the job done. I can make it prettier too. Um, webcams coming. I think I'm gonna be doing. Uh, in fact, I may. If anybody's got a recommendation on webcam under hundred dollar, hundred dollar, hundred dollars to make you holla, um, let me know. Because I, I maybe, like, hang on. Here's what we. Here's what I gotta figure out. All right, we're gonna put these in here. This adds to the water storage. And then we're going to run up here and see who needs food. Warrior needs food badly. You got the pigs and the sheep and the chickens. Oh, my. Oh, great. You've crapped the place up again. Yeah, I hear you. So let's, as usual, top off the troughs. I don't understand why your um, animal husbandry people cannot. Um, I hear you. Um, cannot fill the troughs. They just collect poo. That seems like, okay, I guess I'm doing the job myself, right? Doesn't matter if I have somebody in the position. Why have someone in the position if, you know, you can do the work in the position? All right, there's that. Let's go over here to the sheep pen. It has a little less manure in it. All right, keep them in order there, Pappy. Feel like this is a real village now. Yeah, they don't burn your bowls and buckets. That's right. Uh, they don't burn their houses either. Which, to me, it would be interesting if occasionally, you know, like a house caught on fire or a production building caught on fire. Hello. Hello, ladies and Cluck Norris. Oh, look here. We got stuffs. Okay. Trough is full. Much animal feed we got left. We got a little bit. Boom. Put that there. Let's clean this up. Hello. 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 There's stuff in that. And hello. Collect. Collect. We might need. Hmm. I don't know if this is an option for the hunters. I know it is in the smithy. We might have the smithy people start making arrows. Those would sell pretty good, I think. Did we get all the chickens named? Rose. Yeah, because we named them after Golden Girls. There's Dorothy. There's Rose. And there's Cluck Norris. And Henrietta is one of the original group. And then up here is Blanche. And there's Heidi Plume. And that means we're missing Goldie Hen. 
So Goldie Hen, uh, that might be her right there. There's Goldie Hen. So anyway, yes, I look. There is a there is a there is a list on the internets if you go look it up of funny names for chickens. All right, so let's throw the eggs in here. You gotta take the manure. Oh my God, that's annoying. Wow. Man, I gotta figure this out. It hasn't. It doesn't normally do this. Janky jerk around. All right. Uh, oh, I paid. I cleaned up the, the extra manure. I took care of it. We still have firewood in hand. We do not have enough space. So let's put what we can in there, and then we'll drop the rest right here. Just remember, you drop stuff on the on the floor or the ground, and it's there. X E F. All right, it's going to stay there. Your people just won't be able to work with it unless it's in the in the chest, in the bucket. Now, we talked about this earlier, too. See, our dude is right here. He's actually gathering. Luds, I think, is actually gathering stones. So the question was something to do with... Um, uh, your, I love the scent of wood. Field, uh, your, what was it? Farm workers doing jobs or people actually doing jobs and you see them actually doing the jobs all right we can put some feathers in here We've got fish meat to eat that's a lot of fish meat we need to carry all that with us wait what we do need to carry is aha yes we are out of our potions of weight mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh we got a few of those let's get three and we need a couple extra potions of strength. What do you need those for, A-Train? If you go and work in the mine, that's what you need them for. Potion of possibility will allow you to rearrange your skills. Potion of sobriety will help undo the intoxication effects of the potion of possibilities. So, that's how that works. Now, it, we've talked about this before. You see, hey, A-Train, why are all these stones laying on the floor? There's a thousand and one stones there, right? Because we have how many stones in here? 760. So if we had a thousand stones in there, we would actually be at almost 5,000 kilos of weight. So what we can do to lighten the load, and this is important early game. You want to have stones so you can build houses. It takes 64 to 74-ish to make a simple stone house. The 74-ish, the extra 10, is if you're building a stone foundation. So you're building on flat ground, right? So that takes 10 stone. And then depending on the wall configuration, typically I have, you have the door, I do three windows, and then you, that's four walls, and then you have four more wall sections. And then you have the gables, which are the part that support the roof, right? That takes 64 stone in that configuration, all right? You can add or subtract. Uh, each door is, or, or window is six stone, and each solid wall piece is eight. So you can do the math. You want all windows around, uh, that's going to be eight times six is 48, all right? So uh, if you want to make it like a jail cell where, you know, there were no windows, then I guess that would be six. Well, no. 8 times 8 is 60. Huh? Why am I mathing wrong here? 8 times 8 is 64. But then you got to tell it should be 62. Uh, oh, wait. I'm forgetting the, uh, and then um, 70. So the additional 8 for the gables. Yeah. I can math. All right. So let's see if we can clean this out a little bit. So the easy way to do this, and this is important, early game when you only have one resource storage building, unless you're smart and have listened to those of us who tell you these things. All right, let's go to the map, and I'll show you what you need to do. If you're on the valley map, you go up by Branica. If you, hopefully you've built in the northern half of the map. If you build in the southern half of the map, you're already probably a pro at the game, and you know what to do, so don't worry about it. If you're new at the game, and you build on the northern half of the map, I ideally for me, 
west of Gustovia, around the curve where the trees start to end and then the road branches off to Denica. That's where I like to build on the southern edge of the water because you got lots of maple trees there. It's fairly flat. You're right on the water and you're right between Gustovia and Denica, which covers a lot of your uh, back and forth to vendors uh, and stuff. And it's easy to get across to the four northern vig villages. Um, let's see. There's Tutki. Then there's Baranica. And that's where the cave is that you need to build your second resource storage building right outside. And then there's Branica because why should we have a different name? I mean, we couldn't say Canica or, uh, well, there's Denica. Um, so and there's Rolnica. Um, is it Jezerica and Hornica? I'm sensing a pattern here. Uh, and then what's the other one over there? Okay, because I'm stuck on Astoya, which is on this map. What's the one? What's the village across from Gustovia? Is uh, Orinoco Orinoco Flow or something like that? It's it begins with an O. Anyway. All right. So build your resource storage building right outside a cave. Now, this does a couple of things. First off, it cuts off any spawns for bandits, or in this case, wolves <laughs> that just spawn out of nowhere. You see a wolf spawn around there? No. <laughs> there are wolf spawns on this map. There's one right there. Okay. But there are random wolf spawns that occur on the oxbow. You got to be aware of that. Um, this just makes it a lot easier to shovel stuff in and out. You drop all your equipment here. So you get light, run in, pickaxe, chop, 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 Colonel Hogan bring all your crap out and in including the stones until you get you know a thousand or so in storage problem is resource storage one only holds a thousand kilos a train right boom all right here let me let me draw you a picture click on this you can go crafting that shortens the list you should not have to scroll as far all right let's take 200 stone out all right so we hit f now, two keys to the west, the one to the east, the one that's right across, it, it goes, if you start at Tootkey, which is west of Boranica, which is by the North Cave, two keys to the west, then you have Boranica, then you have um, Branica, then you have, oh, 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 ice cold milk and an Oreo cookie, whatever the one is, then you go across the river to Gastoy. Gustovia, Gustovia, excuse me. All right. Now, on the far west, you have Rolnica, and then you have Denica, then you have Lesnica, which is where one of the two uh, smithies is. Then you have Jezerica, the farming village down to the southwest corner, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And then you have Hornica in the south central part of the map, which is really the, the big time village because it has like the most vendors. But to me, uh, I mean, if you're well equipped and stuff and, and you know, com uh, comfortable going down there, then, um, you know, that's, that's a good place to go. But if you're new, in my estimation, aside from doing the uh, Unigost quest line, or going to buy a horse, unless you just got a bunch of stuff to sell, you actually don't ever have to really need, don't ever need to go to Hornica or Jezerica. You can get anything you need in the other villages, which are kind of the upper part of the map. So, um, dang, how come I can't remember the name of, uh, okay, anyway, look, we're picking up 200 kilograms. See this? This is no good. This means we can't move. See that down the bottom left? It means we can't. I'm trying to go backwards and forwards, and for, but we can't. But we can turn. So you know what you do? Open up your menu. Scroll down. X, E, F. Boom. Done. There's 200 stones. And then you repeat that process till you lighten the load in here. That makes sense? So, like clay. That's 240 kilos. Copper bars, good lord, we've got a lot. Uh, and we've got so much copper ore. You know what? I think I see something we need to do, and that's probably alter our um, excavation work. 
because our excavators are excavating a little too much copper. So let's drop this number down. And uh, uh, what are we going to have them do, A Train? You know what? That's a fine question because we got three people doing this job. And they, I don't think we need three people doing this job. I think I was running out of copper. Now I got, a, of course, I cleared out the mines, uh, the mine over in uh, Skunky, Skalky, excuse me. Damn, it's like a tick. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's okay. So this tells me what I need to know. Now, this person is bringing in a whole lot of straw. And who is this? This is. Luds, our new guy. All right. I think we're going to find another job for Luds to do. So let's go in this excavation shed and let's rebalance things. They're bringing in a lot of straw here and we're, and we're using a lot of straw. Apparently, we're not using a lot of copper. So let's drop this down to like 15%. Let's run the number for straw because we know that doesn't take up much weight, right? So we'll just get a crap ton of straw. We don't need much clay. We're not really doing anything with clay. In fact, you no, know, we're not doing anything with clay. We're not making anything with it. If we do, we just make clay vials. Clay works to me is, um, is fairly useless. Nothing that you produce from the workshop is going to get you a lot of money. The stuff that's going to get you money comes out of the smithy the sewing hut, and the kitchen. And the kitchen's the easiest of the bunch, I feel. Because you you, you grow one, one field of uh, cabbage, go hunt you a, a group of deer or kill you a couple of wizent or a bear or something, and you're making 100 pottage. And that's going to make you about 2,000 coins. Boom, confetti. Just like that. All right, so... What we have is this guy. Let's double click on him. Luds. Where? Well, what? What? Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's do this different. Let's go this way. Luds is a miner. Oh, he's also a hunter. He could probably use some work in another field, though, to get these twos up. He's. A, he's. I mean, that's a good NPC. That's a fourteen point NPC. He's solid. And. He's got threes in two very useful categories, as opposed to having one there and one in diplomacy. So what we can do, hey brothers, ah, that's a good, I that's a good point. Welcome to the show. I hope we covered uh, your subject and uh, analysis breakdown of wood uh, effectively at the beginning of the program here. So um, thank you for raising that question, bringing that to my attention. And we all learned something today. We know that one piece of firewood is worth five wood units to burn. A steak is worth one. A log is worth 10. And a plank is worth five. So I went in and turned off all of uh, all the stuff that's not firewood. So now we have an accurate count of our demand versus our supply our villagers so we did all kinds of fancy math with the fancy phone and we got all that figured out so nice job on bringing that question to us and i appreciate it very much everyone everyone say hi to to brighters and uh give him a cheers mate i think that's what uh what you guys say over there right um so we need to fix this uh work situation here so luds let's click here all right, so now that brings up this list under building selection, and it shows his skill level in regards to these buildings. And hmm, what should we have Luds do? Luds does not have much. We could put him to work cooking. I don't want to do animal breeder because that's stupid. Oh, he can be in the herbalist hut. Yeah, that will well. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. We don't need him in the farm shed. I think the farmers are about to be done with their work. So we're going to have to go check on them. Or we can just check the fields here in a second. We'll see. Let's put him in the herbalist hut. Now, here's the problem. If you assign someone to the herbalist hut, you know what have, has to happen. 
You have to micromanage the thing every season. So we go up here. It says no assignments. It is autumn. Berries are out of season. St. John's wort's in season. Broadleaf plantain's in, uh, in season. But we've got tons of it. Daisy, out of season. Chicory, in season. We've got plenty of it. Dandelion's out of season. Thistle and henbane and deadly nightshade are all out of season. They're summer. Morel mushrooms are in the spring. So basically, all they can do in the fall is gather mushrooms. And that means we're making mushroom soup. And you know something? I just changed my mind. No. Buds, back to the list. Uh, go work in the kitchen. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 how many wooden bowls do we have? I have a job for Luds. I think we're short on wooden bowls. All right, so we got 82, 83. And then we keep them in food storage, right? So let's check here. And here we have... No, we don't keep them in food storage. We keep them in kitchen. That is a production building. Boom, ba boom. Why do you keep them in the kitchen, A train? Because I do the cooking around here. And since they're not in there, but they are in food storage. All right, so we're going to put LUDs to work in the workshop as a craftsman. He's not going to be happy with that, but he'll get over it. All right, so now we got to go to the work. We're going to the workshop. We're making wood never stops. Uh, what am I looking for? Production, workshop. Double click. We gotta give them some assignments. Assignment, make bowls. Make lots of, now this is five at a time, right? One log makes five wooden bowls. So like this has been nerfed. That means you'd be making five bowls per day. This has been nerfed hard. Um, torches sell good. Not sure how many torches we can make per day. What does it take to make a torch per day? That's good. 13%. We'll make one torch per day. It, and uh, we can sell those. Uh, we could make some wooden vials, I suppose. Let's see. That's 10 of them. That would actually be 2.5 per day. That's okay. So that's five per day, and then we're gonna keep this on wooden bowls. I don't like that bit. We can make wooden files. Hell with that. Make wooden bowls. Why do you need so many wooden bowls, eh, train? Because you make food, and you sell it, which means the bowls go out the window. Um. Villagers have always been more productive. No, I'm the more I'm the most productive villager I've got. And I just went through and it took me like what, guys? Like five minutes to clear out both pig pens, refill their food, clear out the uh, sheepfold, refill their food, and then clear out the um, um, chicken coop and refill their food. So boom. The problem I have with it, with having a, a villager assigned to animal husbandry is you can only assign them to one thing. Now, if I could assign them and they cover all those jobs like I just did, then that would work. If I could assign one to cover all the hen houses, that would work. Yes, yes, he's making woody bowls. <laughs> Got wood? So if you could assign one villager to work both the pigsties, that would be great. But this is dumb. Because I just demonstrated we can do that job in five minutes. And they don't even feed them. Your villagers don't feed the, the, the animals, right? Unless you know something I don't. Oh, okay. So, okay, if, you're, if the villagers bring in 180 manure, right, so... If a, pig, if a pig pen is full, it's got six tiles on the floor, and each one will hold 10 manure. So you get 60 manure clearing out 
you guys have seen this. If you've been watching the previous videos, you see the, what the numbers are. So you get 60 manure from clearing out one pig pen if it's 100% on all six tiles. And we know that converts to 30 fertilizer. Do they feed them automatically? Because I didn't see it as an option. If you assign people to it, like we assign, do assignments here, it says eggs and feathers. But it doesn't, I mean, and I've got animal feed in the house. Right? So do are you saying they feed them automatically? They do? Okay, well, that's great. But still, I can only assign one of them to a building. My, my point is, even if the villagers were more efficient and were to gather 180 manure per day, which is a lot for one pig sty, right? That is 90 fertilizer, okay? So I have 60 tile fields. So if you did two pig styes, that would be 180 fertilizer effectively every day. And that's three fields worth of fertilizer every day. That's overproducing. So I don't, I don't need that level of production, at least not at, at present. I may eventually, but currently I don't need that level. Of pro I've got so much manure and rot being processed right now in the barn for um, fertilizer. So for a 60 tile field, that takes 120 manure to make 60 fertilizer, right? This is 10 fields worth, this is 10 applications of fertilizer plus. Actually, it's um, 11. And then this here is another two plus. So my people can't process it fast enough. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Oh, okay. Let me, let me ask you this, Broderick, because you're, here's the thing, guys. I, and this is what's kind of goofy about this, and I, People are like, hey, Train, how come you've never gotten to where you have kids or anything? Because I would, like, start the game over to try to figure out, you know, because I focus so much on the early game. So let me just pop this in here, and let me just pull this up. Let me whip this out. Uh, oh, man, this is going to get me over the top today. I'm at 698.7 hours of Medieval Dynasty. And I've never even gotten to where I had my air. Because I focus, really have just focused on the early game. I haven't focused on the long game. Uh-oh. Houston, we've got a problem. We got Master Idiot Alert in the upper left. Boop, 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 boop. Master Idiot Alert. So, let's check and see. I'm guessing it's in production. What? No. Is it in? No. What seems to be the problem, officer? Oh, we got nobody in excavation shed B. That's the problem. All right. Easy peasy. You got to make sure if you take someone out, and this is where they need to make life easier for us. They need to make a clear all or just pause work. That's what it needs. To, well, clearing all would be good. So I just hit one key, and it clears all these numbers to zero, right? But also a pause button that just allows you to leave it there and you not be stuck with a master idiot alert up in the corner like now it goes away just like that and that's neat how that new animation does that that's on the uh, uh, 1.0 so um, so yeah you're probably a lot farther I may not have had I don't think I've had more than 30 villagers before I just I get to that point and then I look for a different way to start and play the game Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. So, um, so that's really where I'm, I'm focused. My focus has been in trying to figure out the game mechanics, just like we did today with wood, so we understand better how to play the game. Because they don't give you a book on how to play it, right? You kind of have to stumble, fumble, bumble around and figure it out yourself. Boop, 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 boop. Bah. So, oh, I have a, 
we have our new stuff over here. I built that one house. Um, all right, so we got plenty of meat, and we got all the all the beetroot's been harvested. All the cabbage has been harvested. So here is a hundred pottage wait new. No, this is almost two hundred pottage waiting to happen. Right. Three, two, one. Three meat, two cabbage, one wooden bowl, right? So you just add 18 to this. Excuse me, 28 to this. I can math. Take 28 from here and put it to here. Then you got 400 cabbage, which means you need 600 meat. Do we have 600 meat? <gasps> Holy shnikey, we do. We have freaking <laughs> 1,600 meat. <laughs> so you know what we don't have? Wooden bowls. <laughs> That's what we need. Hey, Luds, get busy. <laughs> Make those bowls. So, um, yeah, listen, I, I, I don't act like I know everything. I mean, I've, it may sound like I talk like I know everything, but it's almost like every day I learn something new playing this game. And I just want to figure out better ways to do it um, and make it fun for everyone and then be educationally informative. That's what I do. So, all right, so this is, this will eventually be our big field. Um, this eventually, I think, is going to be my house here. And then I think eventually we're going to change out a couple of those houses there in the village area so that we can um, put in the, the uh, what's the small house, regular house, S the simple house. Yeah, the simple house. And then we're going to look to put families in the simple houses. We'll have single people in the simple small house. But we'll put families in the, in the house. Now, you guys remember, this is kind of, this indicates that this field is kind of out of range of the farm shed, right? See, this is, this is, wait, that's not it. Field eight, that's it. Oat and rye. It got harvested. So they're doing the work. I mean, they even uh, may have been over here. Oh, in fact, they did. They came over and they uh, prepped this one for next season. This is a flax field. And so, yeah, it, it may indicate that the field is, it's just, it's inefficient. The distance from the um, deal. But if you have seven-day seasons, your people can knock it out. Like right here, what they're doing is they're in the process of harvesting oat and the wheat and then shifting everything over to rye in those fields. And then they're almost done with the beetroot. It looks like there's only three things left in beetroot. So then that'll be good to go. All right. You guys have an idea on what we might want to do here now that we've talked wood, we've rubbed out the wood issue. We're an hour into the video. Sweet. I may do a double double play tonight too. Here's the thing: if if Briders if, if, if Briders has if you have huge fields, obviously you need way more fertilizer, right? That's the big deal. Uh, I don't. I keep my fields to ten by six more or less. Now we are going to put a ten by ten right here. And we've got this set up that there could be another 10 by 10 here. And that's probably going to be flax fields. And I've got an additional farm shed going here. And we're going to put farmer types up here. We're going to shift some of this farm production, probably these three fields here, up to here. And then um, look to uh, replace those three fields with orchards. Hmm. Thinking of that, maybe, maybe... I need to change this. Hmm, that's a that's a good thought. Let's think about doing that. So that's gonna be uh, hillside three. Hmm. Uh oh. I think they're working that right now. Let's run down there and check. There's another thing I'm thinking about doing. And that's going down to that place that we like down on the stream, the windy windy stream. Yep, looks like someone's down here working. What's she doing here? Oh, okay. 
She's just hoeing the. Uh, she's just hoeing the field, which. Haven't plucked up the courage to go to the Smith yet. Okay. Do wait. Do I have a mission? I feel like I picked up a mission here. I did. Find an addition to my collection. We gotta go get a wooden badger, a stinking badger. Let's run over here and. Do -do 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 -do. What time is it? Oh, it's afternoon. Just I heard. Cluck Norris up there making some noise. I kind of want to see what we could do as far as laying out the village down along that stream down by Astoria. Oh, great. Now we got a problem. What's the problem now, people? For frack's sake. Uh, it's not going to be an animal husbandry. It's probably in production. Yep, there it is. Sewing hut. What are you out of? Bet you're out of flax stalks. Oh, who knew? Okay. Well, guess what? We can start making these. Um, Make some more fur boots and make some more water skins. Yeah. Uh, let's actually drop this, see if I can get that. Four per day, 3.27 per day, linen fabric. These are odd numbers. I don't like odd numbers. There we go. And flat straw hats. Can we get that a little higher? No, not really. Bags? There we go. All right. I like it. So... Let's go see Dom Zagu do Dahmer. Yo, Dahmer. What's up? How is life treating you? Show me your wares. I need a wooden bedger. Stinking bedger. There we go. Give me one of those. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Well, I just bought some of your wares. D head. Have a good day. The weather is about Marky to Mark, change. what's up? I felt it in my left elbow. Well, I think you were doing something with your left hand, and maybe that's why you felt something in your left elbow. I'm just saying. Oh, 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 can we, can we, can, ah, dang it. Couldn't get it there fast, couldn't get it up fast enough. <laughs> Got wood? Oh, I don't even have them on me. Damn it. I was going to look to do some anti-air and shoot down those pigeons as they were on approach. We're not going to do that with our iron bolts. We'll do that with wooden bolts, but not with the iron bolts. Ooh, pigeon. Stinking air rats. I find it funny that people would call them air rats. I don't know if they consider them that in Poland. Oh, wait. Who am I looking for? Five, four, three, two, one. That would be you. You're Hello there. Uh, doc, uh, Badger? Badger. You've got them all. You've got them all. Yeah. Damn it. Yes. My niece doesn't collect any figurines. I do. Just I don't even try. I have a niece. They were carved up by a renowned artist in, from the valley. Oh. That's so Sobomir or whatever his name is. Dickhead up in the upper right. Hey, Sven, we were talking about you earlier. <laughs> about your... That's your struggles with getting extraction specialists. <laughs> um, but most people don't understand that. They say I'm an adult and shouldn't collect toys. A waste of time and coins. It's nice to have a passion. That's for you, for your trouble. And please, let it remain our little secret. Great, because we had this. Reminds me how much still needs to be done before winter. Goodbye. All right, so we got some dynasty rep. And we got some stuff. What the hell did we just get? Like a bottle of wine? Oh, we got berry juice. Now here's what's cool. I this is this is cool stuff here. Berry juice is plus one food, plus fifty water, and for ten and a half minutes you have eighty five percent less water consumption. So that's that that's pretty cool stuff. So hey, let's drink some. Sure, why not? All right, and then we got some fish meat here. We can eat more of that. Sure. 
Okay. What, uh, what, what hadn't you noticed? His toys are finally traveling. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah, you'll, you'll find um, the people around the fire, the, the homeless people that you can recruit. You know, one of them says, I don't think we're in the valley anymore. I've armed the mightiest knights of this realm. Nobody met. Oh! <laughs> Do you guys see that? I have armed the mightiest knights of this realm. Is it me or is that from um, A Knight's Tale? Is that what the woman says that that they hire that's 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 from something so we gotta know what that reference is from they've added a bunch of more uh pop culture references with the uh the updates that was a good one i like that i've armed the mightiest knights in this realm oh wait that's gonna be up here at the smithy isn't it let's hang out here for a minute while they're doing their thing. I'm looking at going down here and checking out. You see these straight lines I'm drawing? I'm kind of looking at how we could draw those straight lines and they'd be roads. And then we find a way to kind of work them in so we could work buildings and fields in around the twists and turns here of the stream. That would be cool. Uh, I, I, I'll tell you a funny one, too. You know how when you're flirting with someone, uh, there will be a um, the thing where they say, um, I've, I've heard if you wash your clothes in urine, it helps get them cleaner. And there was a deal we had to go over to Klonica? Klonica? Klonica. And the guy over there said, yeah, some idiot's going around saying you should pee, wash your clothes in urine. And one of the kids, I caught one of the kids pissing on my clothes, and I had to rewash them again. <laughs> May the forge be with you. Timber. Uh, I, I really have to work on that. Yep, that's a good one. I like that. I, I love the smell of what is it, fertilizer in the morning. That's a good one. So where are we? Uh, 1714. E is there anything we need to do or want to do? I know what we can do. Let's help out with this bowl situation. Let's grab 100 logs because, yeah, we could just grab 100 logs. No, 20 logs. Excuse me. 100. Grab 40 logs. And, ah, crap. He's going to be over here working. I forgot this is up here. But, oh shoot, he's at the table too. Work. Only for those crudes to underestimate. Hmm, that's new stuff. All right, Luds, I need you to go work at the, at this, at the wheel over there. Clay wheel. Come on, bud. Hook brother up. I need you to free up that workstation without me freeing you up. Oh, you know what? I guess he could do it. He will, he will still do it. E. I should bring my relatives over. No, you shouldn't. Um, maybe not Cousin Marius, though. Cool. There's 100 bowls, just like that. All right. As you were, let's go put these back over here. Because if I put someone to work in the kitchen, I could put me to work in the kitchen. Let's see. I just put these in the kitchen. Now, if your kitchen stuff gets full and you're doing the kitchen work, just put bowls there. You don't have to put them in the chest. To me, they should put like shelves and then you could just put them on the shelf. That would make sense. I, th I was thinking about this today driving around. Um, like, it would make sense to me. Um, you know, so basically you put stuff in this chest, right? So basically what you're doing is you're putting a number of an item in this chest or taking it out, right? So I've got 1,201 stones because this one, what that's irking me. There, that fixes it. <laughs> it's vexing me. I am vexed. There. 
So we got 1,200 stones laying about. They should, the whole floor of this building should be inventory. And I think you should be able to stack logs here because this is a cool place to stack logs. And they should count in your inventory. So I don't know why they don't make the floor of this whole building like the bucket, just like that is a bucket. The, the only thing is it becomes a visual indicator. Like you can't see, all you see is the spreadsheet of what's in this bucket. If you think about this from a programming standpoint. Um, yeah, the Heath Ledger one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, at what point do you assign the cook as a job? That's a great question. And it, um, it, it varies. On this playthrough, I've really uh, done, I've done all the cooking myself. And the reason I do all the cooking myself is because I need to build the skills, right? But actually, I'm maxed out in those skills. But I can do 100 things of pottage quick, quick. And that gives us a whole lot of points here. And we're working our way towards the market stall. You know what? Speaking of making 100 things of pottage, let's just go make 100. Wait. Okay, it's day three. We got plenty. You don't want to cook the last day of the season unless you can get the stuff to market to sell. Or you intend on your people eating it. All right. So remember we talked about this. Let's do 200 cabbage. Cabbage. Oh, wow. That was close. It's a good shot there. Uh, and then we need 300 meat. So we're going to take the crappy stuff first. I don't know if I'm going to be able to move. Oh, wow. Boom. Yeah, we can move. Because we got 100. If we had the 100 bowls in hand, we wouldn't be able to move. So, we move over here to kitchen. Remember, you do not need a kitchen until you unlock kitchen two. Because the oven, you can't do anything recipe-wise till kitchen two. But you can roast meat, and you can do the cauldron in your house. Or on the Oxbow, you can do it in the sick house in Piastovia where you start out. You have access to the fire and the cauldron there. You just unlock, use the kitchen to unlock recipes. Pottage or soup. So... We want to stand where we can see everything. We don't need to see the, the stone grate. Okay? So now we're going to pick this up, and we're going to grab these 100 bowls. And now, oh, you know what? We can still move. We're close to full on capacity, though. All right? But we can see the cauldron, which means we just go click, R-E-F, boom. 100 pottage. Yeah, so it, the way I see it... Um, and I, I, I said this in my strategy thing I posted on Facebook earlier under Medieval Dynasty when they asked, what's your strategy? Extraction is first. Build all the production buildings, but then you can build, you know, maybe one house, get someone who, who's an extraction specialist to start bringing you logs and planks. Person number two needs to be an, ex an extraction specialist bringing you stones. So then you can build all your houses out of stone and wood tile roofs. Boom. That's the smart play. Um, and in doing that, then your villagers are gathering the materials you need to do, you know, to expand the village. And that way also you don't have to clear cut the frickin map, right? Because I hate that. I mean, I'm not a tree hugger by any stretch of the imagination, but, uh, I do not like the idea of clear cutting the map unless it's birch trees. A little quick scrubby scrub here. Oh, we got a bunch of freaking um, fishing spears to sell too, don't we? All right, this is our little bath station we made. Kind of private. And then here's our stage. We'll go up and tap dance on. Hey, hey, hey. We stoop and then jump, and we stoop and we jump, and then we look Russian. Right? That's what the Russians do, right? So. Stoop, jump. Ha. 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 It's the <laughs> season of preparation. Preparation H if you bust your ass. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was funny, A Train. Uh, half these people don't may not even know what preparation H is. So um anyway. Yeah. Um I definitely belong here. Well, okay. I'm I'm glad you feel that way. Don't seem to age at all. Lucky bastards. Yeah, lucky bastards. Do I have my... Uh, I do not. Let's go get the hammer. I feel like we're going to go work over on the other side of the road here.
so yeah, I, I, I put people in the extraction jobs first to get me things that I need to build with. And then um, I'll get a hunter. I got, whoops, don't need that. When you have that burning sensation, though, <laughs> that's when you need preparation H. Uh, <laughs> shut up, H. Ryan. Um, let's see. We're going to need, if we go build a simple small house across the street, we're going to need logs. So let's grab some logs. Let's grab these logs. And we're going to need, those are on flat ground. So we're going to need, what did I say the numbers was? 28? 24? Crap. I did this yesterday. I wrote, I, I wrote this yesterday. For frack's sake. All right. The frame takes six or ten. And then you need two, four, six, eight. That's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yeah, I think it's 28. I don't want animal feed. How did that get on my screen? 28. That'll do. All right. I think I've got the math right here. We'll find out. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the damn town over by Gustovi Gustovia on the original map? All right. So let's whip this out. That's going to say 10 stone. You know what? I think we can find 10 stones sitting around over here. A bunch of stinking, freaking crazy amounts of mushrooms. One. There's some. Two, three, four, five. I know. I've got freaking 12,000 stupid uh, um, stones that I'm not using. Good God, that's a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. Got it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's build this one first. So again, I'm going to walk you through the build process here in case you missed the memo. This is the efficient way to do it. You want to have your um, your stuffs for, the, for building here on site. Okay, eight logs for the frame. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out because it's going to reset our builder um, trance anyway while we redo all the, uh, the deals. So I think we're going to need two additional logs, right? Let me, let me run through. Uh, no, no, no. Look here. How many do I have? 20 logs. I think we're going to need more. All right. So door, that's two. And then uh, this will be... Do I want to do, yeah, we'll do it. Hang on. Well, I just changed the numbers up. All right, so I'm not quite in the middle of the room. Uh, stone, get the gable. Stone, put solid walls by the main bed here. Gable. Uh, this wall, boop, and then this one, boop, boop. All right, cool. So now we've redone the walls. Now we redo the roof, wooden tile. And this will guarantee if you put your person in a job that they're happy with, they will guarantee them 49% happiness. Okay, so two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hey, I think I've got the exact number of logs I need. And I forgot to count the freaking attic earlier. How the hell did I pull that out of my butt? All right, so let's drop these here. All right, and then we will jog back over. I do have materials sitting right there that I could grab, but I'm not going to. Because now I gotta go get more materials anyway, right? 
So let's joggy jog back over here. And this is the problem with village getting bigger and bigger. As I mentioned in my strategy thing. It's real efficient for production, but it's not efficient for expanding the village and you having to run around and build all this stuff. We got a bunch of limestone. We need to insulate some houses too. Oh, we need, uh, crap. We're gonna have to make two trips. 64 stone, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a second trip. Come get some. Hello, are you, excuse me, are you Tony Stank? Yes, yes, this is Tony Stank. Never letting that down. Table for one, Mr. Stank. We need plank, not stank. So we're going to run over here, drop off our plant, our stones right here. Turn the stone. You were going. I turn the stone. No, 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 turn the stone. So this house, we've already got the building materials set aside there. So now we need 48 planks. Simple small house, 48 planks. And then if we wind up short on something, we'll just grab what I've got sitting up there because i got stuff sitting up there. Planks for the memories. Boom. Hi, Lee. How are you today? Say hi to our friends from across the pond. Uh, Riders is in the UK. And Adele is in the UK, if she's still here. And Sven is in the Netherlands. He's a Max for a stopping fan, as opposed to a Niels Fine fan. But I'm sure he's going to look up Niels Fine so he knows who they are. Oh my God, we're overloaded. We can't move. What are we going to do? Well, here's what we're going to do. We want to activate our Wonder Twin powers or our Builder buffs, right? Builder's trance. So, simple thing to do is, there's tier one. Look up at the gable. There's tier two. Other gable. Tier three. Boom. Now we're ready to rock and roll at full speed ludicrous speed and now our weight's coming down as long as you're in the middle of the room and you can see the walls you can load up because you may not be able to move but you can turn Are you, you're in the USA? Where are you? Now, um, Autumn is in South Carolina. I'm in Dallas, Texas. And Lee is about eight miles away from me in Garland, Texas, which is just a suburb of Dallas. I'm in far north Dallas. Downtown Dallas is like 10 miles south of me. Oh, you're in the Midwest. Okay, cool. You guys thawing out? Because I know we were cold down here. You guys were really cold. Really, really cold. All right, cool. House complete. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, we could do some upgrades. Upgrades. Um, we could do several things here. But before, let me check this. Because I, I may, mm, it's not a big deal. Wait. Oh, she's got ah, frack. She's got uh, two thirds of the field planted. Hmm. Okay. 
All right, it's cool. It's casual. So let's go ahead and get this built. Eight stone, and then we laid some log. Oh, I think this was in part for the. Oh, yeah, these were just building materials for the well and this. So let's just go over here and grab eight stone. There we go. Turn the stone. I knew we were going. I turned the stone. Oh, no, no, no. Turn the stone. You're coming home. I can't go on. All right, there's that. And we need six logs. Oh, look, we got logs. All right, and then we need steak and a log. Let's throw a log there. Throw a log there. And we need a log up here and a log here. Cool. So the straw we got sitting over here. That's convenient. Hmm, thought that one through. And so, Adele's still here. Yes, hooray. Still hiding the scissors in the northeast of England. It's very cold. Oh, very good. All right. What kind of hot drinks? Uh, well, uh, probably that was probably a dumb question. What kind of hot drinks do you like in England? I don't know. Uh, hot chocolate? Idiot. Of course, probably tea. But then again, it may not be. Because there's other things. That was one of the funniest parts about... Uh, it, 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 really? Listen, jerk face. I'm going to drop you right here. Because I don't want you rolling around into the fire. Start a forest fire out here. We don't have a bucket brigade going. Oh, criminy. Heidi, Heidi, Christ Almighty, who the hell are we? Zim, zam, goddamn airborne, airborne infantry. All right. So we need, uh, what, 16 steak? 16 steak. I'm pretty sure we can find that here somewhere. Oh, look, here's some. Boink. And boink. Boink. Ted Lasso. She, Rebecca says, How do you like your teas? Usually I like it uh, in the uh, in the trash or down the down the, the sink. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's terrible. <laughs> it's so funny about the tea and the and the water with bubbles in it. Sam Obasanya. That's his name. That's the characters. I was talking to, uh, I was in a house, this was Wednesday, out uh, east of here, out towards, my, actually past my parents, out towards Fate. And uh, it was, a, I think, an African couple. Really nice folks. And they're watching a, 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 a football game, soccer, for those of us who don't speak the language, um, between Morocco and Zimbabwe? Or was it Tanzania? Anyway, it's between one of them. A couple of them. You just punched it. Very nice. Very good. Uh, you could tell them not to work on a particular field. Okay. Um, I think you can. I think what you would do is go into management and go here. And then say you don't want them working on this field. Well, it indicates flax, right? So they're, when the flax season comes around, they're going to go work this field. But if I go empty, now they're not going to work the field. Now that may be the crude way to do it, but I that that's a, this is how we do it. South Central does it like nobody does. This is how we do it. All oh, my neighbors, you got much flavor. Cause it's Friday, right? 
this is how we do it. It's Friday night and I feel all right. The party's here with the A-Train. <laughs> Shut up, A-Train. That's not one of my karaoke songs. If you want to see my karaoke songs, go look at my videos. You'll find them. And I'm very aware that I said bass instead of bass. Yes, thank you. I made the mistake of looking at the screen. And that screwed me up. Because I have the song memorized. So, but, you know, you'll get over it. Anyway, all right. So that, I, I feel like that's that's the way to do it. That's a smart way to handle it. In fact, um, this field may now be, let's go look. Because now this, technically, this side is in business. Although we don't have materials up here. So those materials need to either be in the resource storage building. Or they need to be stocked here. And I like to stock them here because then I can do the work myself. This is really the first season um, or first year I've had people doing the work for me. I do not want to take out this big tree. I like that big tree. But I don't think I could squeeze two simple small houses in here. I think... I want to keep my house over there kind of generally where it is and have the view. No, not that show. Ugh. No, 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 no. No, not the view show. Um, so, um, all right, let's do this. 72. Up, 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 up. Uh, no, not that, this. And that's out of the way enough. All right, grab these and dump them over here. Sure. And then grab these and then dump them over here. Cool. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I know something. Ho, 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 a train. You thought something through. That's right. I did. I don't need to put them side by side. I can put them north south because I made these two roads just far enough apart to accommodate two houses back to back like that. Hmm. <laughs> Duh. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's go boink, boink, boink. Ooh, ooh. I like it when the stairs go up to the side. I just wish you could do rails on it. Ah, nuts. I'd have to move it right. Mm. You know what? We're going to move it right there, and I'm going to show you guys again in case you don't know how to turn the house effectively. All right, so there it is. Woot, there it is. I thought you knew. Woot, there it is. Woot. There it is. All right. Upside down and inside out. I'm going to tell you folks what I'm all about. That's a song I would like to do. I might have to work on learning that one up. All right. So now this one faces north because we stand in the place where we are. Now face north. We think about direction. wonder why you haven't before. All right. So there we're kind of lined up. Sure, we're doing the string line alignment because they didn't have fancy tools and lasers and shiz back then, right? So we'll just walk out here until, boom, confetti. Three to five and that skill in three days. Yeah, they're picking up points pretty quick. It's pretty impressive. So, all right. So let's talk about this house right here. This one right here, okay? And it's going to need logs. And, oh, how convenient. We got extra logs sitting right here. Yeah. So, let's build it. But see, I'm not thrilled with how... I, you know what, though? This probably isn't bad because we're right at the peak. I wish you could put rails on this. Now, I know there's kind of a way to do it, but it kind of isn't. It's, it's crude. What would be great is if the devs came up with a way for us to put, like, a a section of fence 
and then raise it up so then it mates up here so it'd be railing or something like that i would like that that's just me um actually i would like the stairs to go off this way and we have like a porch and you can put some chairs yeah was it getting early already oh yeah it's four o'clock oh 400 what's the o stand for oh my god it's early okay so the stairs are here right all right that's cool we gotta do this part next that's a lot of logs that's what she said uh let's finish this part okay so now once you're to this part the house is framed right if you want to change this setup here here's what you do if you don't know okay because we're going to change it to stone anyway right what we're going to do is change this to a window wait what walls with windows stone there we go got it now notice the deal disappeared we can put the entry on any side anywhere we want on the house now the problem is the the stairs are going to go to the middle so if we wanted to put it here the stairs would go that here ta-da but we want to do it here your door stone there ta-da so that now you're going downhill and then you go up the stairs i'd rather the stairs be facing the uphill side of the grade than the downhill side uh yeah the the board fence yeah it I, i've tried it before um and it's uh it's just it looks a little clunky oh shoot uh let me see how long we've been going here because yeah i am kind of getting hungry guys i am planning on another mm, six is good sure forgot i'm meeting a friend for dinner All right, uh, yeah, going to go have some Greek with a friend of mine before they head to the pool. Uh, okay, so what was I looking at? Oh, yeah, we're now in 40, uh, almost an hour and 40 minutes in. So this is actually pretty good here. So we'll go about another 20 minutes. All right. Um, the new one. What was, shoot, what was I talking about? Six of this. All right, cool. Ah, man, I lost track of what I was talking about. Anyway, all right, let's, uh, let's finish this house here. Well, we got, I'm confused now, goofing around. All right, let's drop the logs here. So, um, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, I'm going to take a break for dinner here in about 20 minutes or so. Go have some dinner. I'll be back, uh, and let's see, it's 5.20 course that means it's getting late for you guys across the pond but i do appreciate y'all being here it really is super cool and um um i'm going to probably do a double play all right so we're gonna drop let the beat drop 60 no yes 64 and we'll take we'll leave those and we'll take these over here with this because the, the basic layout of the house that I do only requires 64 stone. And then we don't need 72 planks. Planks for the memories. We need 48. So we can drop, what's the difference there, 24? I can math. Boom. That seems to work. Oh, there we go. All right, so here we go again. Boom. Here we go again. White snake there. Uh, where do we want to put this extra window? That window's good. And the gable we got to change. 
I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of doing two windows side by side, but I guess that would be okay. Now, this is where the bed goes, the main bed. The kid's bed, screw the kids, right? Kid has a bed right under the window. Pfft. They get whooping cough. It's one less mouth to feed, right? Um, oh, this needs to be a window here. So that, there. Now, well, yeah, I guess it's a view towards the main uh, village. So there we go. Answered my question. I got that up there, right? Boom, 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 boom. All right. Change that. Okay, cool. All right. Start with the easy stuff first. We need some logs. Boom, boom. Go to the next thing. Path of least resistance. And now we're up to tier three of our builder trance. And now we can get busy. Fences. We'll take a look at fences here in a minute. Since I got some extra building materials on hand. So I'll say probably by, well, maybe not by winter. Because the barn workers are going to stay in the barn, but the farm workers are going to move into the barn. Um, so it won't matter where they are. And then I'll have to evaluate everyone, make some personnel decisions on where we want to keep people. Easy. Keep it together. Keep it together. All right, now we've got to take care of the roof stuff. Click. Click. Now remember, the roofs take 13 hits, so that you can't screw around with the timer. But you have plenty of time for your um, stamina to recover. where the sound for the wind was coming from. That stopped. <laughs> that stopped quickly. It's the weekend. Absolutely it is. So I will probably um, be back about uh, 7, 7.30 p.m. my time. So plus, plus 5, plus, plus 6. Hello? There we go. Done. Done. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Let's take a look at this. How can we make this purdy? Not Brock purdy. No. No. All right. Uh, Q fences. All right. So here's the plank fence. Because there's not a tall, steep fence. That would be short. Right? So we either have to do the log fence or the plank fence. And this is the one I've done before. Simple plank picket fence. That's going to be short, though, isn't it? Oh, wow. We've almost got that unlocked. Uh, let's unlock it. That's a new sound effect. So is this going to be shout, shouty? Wait a minute. Is it? Oh, that's kind of tall. Hold it now. Hold it. Hold it. Hit. All right, so... Originally, I did this. This was on another village. Uh, this was on my first village, actually. It was over by... Oh, my God. Oh, no, I can't remember the name of the town again. I was hoping it would come to me. What's the damn village that begins with an O that's across the river from Gostoya? I'm going to kick myself. Well, actually, I'm not because I'm sitting down. Overmeyer or over, overbite or so now we're going to move up as close as we can here, and then we know this is basically where we can start. And there we go. So let's actually come to right there. It creates a little gap, but that's how it looks. And that doesn't look too bad, right? So then we come here. Oh, man. Damn it. All right, hold on. Let's take this down because I know how to do this better. Kids cough in the oxbow? Yeah, do they? Grimy little snots. Ugh. Get away from me, you little germ transmitter. Crumb cruncher. Carpet crawler. Oh, Genesis song. 
carpet crawlers come crawling. Am I too close? I think I slipped it too close. All right, let's try it again. Boink, boink, boink. Oh, not that. Boink, boink. Not that. Damn it, Beavis. That. Plank fence. Planks for the memories. Okay, we we're really close. There we get right there. All right. There. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, there's obstacles. This is going to be tight. It's going to be really tight. But I think if we just, I just want to turn south. So I should, I cut the corner a little tighter than I needed to. But let's try to come out just a hair. Eh. Eh. All right, so that's what it looked like. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. But yeah, so there's there's some safety first. There. The thing is, it, it made that as two sections. That's kind of surprising. I thought it would make it as one because it was a continuation, but I guess when you cut the corner, it uh, it's okay. Anyway, we'll look at uh, dinking around with that at a later time. So, yeah, so we got three houses up here now. Okay, we got the farm shed. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on. Uh-oh, my computer's going kaplunk kaplooey already. Cluck Norris is awake. I need, what, two logs? Uh, I need eight straw. Oh, we just need one log. One stinking log. One ping only, Vasily. <sighs> Bollocks. Oh, we need some. We need. We need some high quality H two O. I don't know what's running in the background on my computer. Crapping things up on me, dude. You're at work early. Oh, it's almost ten a.m. Dang. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, let's grab another big chunk of logs to take up there, though, for more construction. So we want an odd number. So like 29. Sure. Does that work? Whoa. Now see I did the plank wall right there. It'd be great if we could put notices on it or something, but that's the that's the backdrop for the stage. I'm still waiting for the bronze pole. So you can put on a real show. Bow chicka bow wow. Oh crap on a steak. We need two. That's okay. I got two. Forgot there was a front side to this. Now I've told you this before and I'll say it again. This is a strategy play here. For keeping your builder trance going, that's the little clock in the bottom left with the two above it. If you're going to run out of materials and you know you're going to run out of materials, get something to like one strike away from being complete and then do that for a couple of sections. So if you had like, you know, these needed eight things and you have a total of 12. Do like seven here and five here or do six and six. Because then it just takes two cracks with the hammer to complete it and then boom, that activates the next level of um Borowo. Damn. Wow. So you like the porch thing? It's gonna weigh us down. Alright, let's build the porch. That's legit. Alright, so uh let's go back over here. I just want to make sure we get this really good. Alright, so we face east. Stand in the place where you are now face east. Okay, can't go there. 
it's probably a little too close so we're gonna come out just a touch just a touch of love just a touch of love we're too close poop my neighbor downstairs is cooking something I can smell it she's Iraqi cook some of that Iraqi stuff aha here we are so now I think if we just go past that I think we'll be okay ah nuts all right so now we just want to turn and face south because we're anchored right so if we're facing south then that should be a 90 degree angle and yeah doink I thought this used logs too. Cool. There you go, folks. That's what that looks like. Pretty legit. Yeah. It's a pretty nice fit too. Guy, no, guy, guy, nice and tight. Just that little gap right there. And since, well, how many planks do I have left? How many planks do I have? 12 okay we can do two of them let's decorate let's make uh shutters oh you know what we've got iron bars we can start doing the funky ones mm. let's go get some iron bar wait hang on how much i need we're gonna need six logs so if we got more we can drop those hello 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 what in the ass is going oh god we got 27 logs we don't need all those Oh my gosh, what in the hell is going on in the background on my computer? Probably stupid McAfee. All right, so we're going to drop, um, let's see, we're going to need six. So there, I think. I think that'll do. If we do fancy, okay, two logs, two logs, two logs. All right, no matter how you slice it, it's two logs. Now, if we're going to do these, the braced wooden shutters, that's four iron bars. I like these, the decorative ones. Those are two iron bars. Oh, I haven't bought the scheme yet. Well, let's buy the scheme. I haven't bought that one either. Well, let's just buy that. Jeez, A-Train, you sure are throwing out a lot of money quick. Well, um, yeah, because I got like 66000 So, I know you guys probably have more. I get it. But what the hell are you spending on, right? It's not like you can buy a new car. All right, so let's get some iron bars. Those should be in here. Should. And then I got to go when we get this little project done. But I shall return. All right, so we need six. Yes, six. This will be neat. This will be a first. This house will be nicer than mine at this point. I don't even have shutters on my house. In the middle of my street. Our house. In the middle of our street. cool oh that's slick i like it and then we'll check um when we move someone in here what it does to their points because the simple the wooden shutters add three that's a plus three to happiness so typically if you take this house you do the wooden shutters and you do limestone well first thing is if you do stone walls and wood tile roof you put someone in that they're happy in their job so there are three at it right that's a job they want to do then they'll go up to 49 percent happiness then you add wood shutters and you add um limestone insulation and that will take them to 59 so that's 10 points and so that's why you build the houses from wood tile roofs and stone walls to begin with and you don't have to tear anything down you just add to it and that doesn't mean you do that while they're sleeping. So that's cool. I like it. Kind of a nice little commanding view. I mean, those trees are in the way. But that's why I'm not going to live here. I'm going to take that house and my house and combine it into this, the Tier 2 house. All right. Cool. You guys have any questions? No, I think we're just going to freaking 
hold up, wait up, hold up, straight up, right here. And uh, like I said earlier, wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe because I shall return. <laughs> Appreciate everyone being here. Hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, I am in, uh, this is uh, year four. Autumn of year four. It should be on the uh, thumbnail. I put the season on the thumbnail. So you know if I'm in the middle of a season or I'm transitioning a season. So, um, and I like some uh, barbecue season too. Barbecue season. Yeah, it's good. All right, we kept this under two hours though. That's pretty good. Normally we're going about 240 to six hours. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of cash. You know. But when you go in and sell like we're selling, you go sell 100 pottage, you'll make a crap ton of cash. And we're making fur boots that sell for a lot. We're making bronze tools that sell for a lot. We're making water skins that sell for a lot. You're making flat straw hats that sell for a lot. So when you make that kind of stuff, yeah, you, you make a lot. Now, if you're on the valley, um, bronze tools, flat straw hats, flax seeds, See, seeds and stuff on here on the Oxbow are a lot cheaper. If you don't know this, like you can buy trees for like 20 coins. Trees are one-tenth, if not less than a tenth of the cost of what they are on um, the Valley. Potions are a lot cheaper too. Potions are like 8 to 30 or 40 coins. And those have changed just a little bit. And they had really nerfed pottage, which pissed me off, but they've corrected that. They took it down to where it was only 12 and a half. And I think on the valley, you can sell pottage for 25, 20 or 25. But now it's bounced back up, and now I can sell it for 40, I think, because I get 30% better uh, selling prices. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I really appreciate you being here and being active in the discussion. It really does. I mean, it's fantastic. I really appreciate it. Super cool. Um, Briders, thanks for... Um, uh, you know, bringing up the subject, and now we've learned some things today. So that's super cool of you. You may have known that stuff, I didn't, but now we broke it down. So hopefully, my viewers know and uh, have a better understanding of how wood works in the game. It's just, I mean, it's just like food effectively, but now we know what the value of each of these items are. A stick is effectively one calorie, uh, firewood and the planks are five each, and a log is 10, and then that adds up to the total demand for your people. So uh, we know that on un unclick sticks logs and planks so then you can track exactly what you need based on firewood so then your people aren't burning your sticks logs and planks so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you'll give us a like share with your friends let them know about the channel let them know about medieval dynasty now available on steam from Ritter cube games and toplets productions it's available for about 35 dollars us this is the oxbow map this is version 2.0.1.0 um, with multiplayer and female characters and character customization. It's not available for anything but PC Steam right now. It is due out first half of this year. They say Q1, Q2s. I narrow that down into first half because Q1 and Q2 equals the first half. Ta-da! We'll see if they keep to that timeline, but we're kind of doing the air quotes beta testing um, to, uh, you know, get... The, there's a lot to this. If you got questions, boy, I tell you what, the economy is completely different. But now after playing a couple hundred hours, uh, I've adapted to it. So it was just a matter of adapting and getting them to kind of settle down on some of the changes they were making. Like one day they had um, someone figured out you can make copper sickles and make a ton of money off of them because it only took like one stick and one copper bar. And then they nerfed that to three copper bars. And then I think they came to their senses and brought it back to two copper bars. So, you know, there's there's still stuff that's dynamic. There's stuff that's changing with the production uh, values and stuff. Things are getting nerfed. But things are also changing in different ways. Um, uh, for example, fishing spears went from being one log, one stone, and one linen thread to two logs, two stones, and one linen thread for two fishing spears. The thing is, I think they nerfed the... Um, durability of them so they only have a 20 durability now but whatever 
you know, it works. You can make more of them and it's easier to make. So uh, it's cool stuff in that regard. Uh, anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. I do appreciate everyone being here. And uh, hey, if you come back later, throw a comment down in the comments below. Uh, that helps improve the uh, increase the YouTube engagement. Join us on Discord. There's a link in the description below. And donations are welcome and appreciated at my PayPal. There's a link in the description below as well. I do need to get my stuff squared away with uh, Google stupid people so that uh, I can do like super thanks and super chats and things like that. But hey, everyone, uh, your likes and involvement in the uh, video make it worthwhile. They really do. It's entertaining. It's fun. Are you not entertained? <laughs> so... I appreciate you being here. I'm going to go have some Greek food. Y'all have uh, a Coke and a smile and a, a nice uh, rest of your day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.